Hey guys, Team Mood here. So it's been a while, but I'm finally done with school, which means I finally have more time for this, which is so much fun. <laughs> it's that I actually do like editing videos instead of hanging out with real people. I don't know what it is about like summer or winter break, just the breaks in general. Like I love just sitting at home doing things by myself and not hanging out with people. So before I took my short hiatus, I noticed that other YouTubers were doing their nerd histories, like how they became a nerd. So I thought that was like interesting. So I began thinking about my own nerd experience. I guess it would start in grade school. I thought reading was cool in grade school and um, we had this top 10 list because for reading books you got points. It was like you tried to get on the list. But, you know, I was never on the list. I don't really want to go into that right now. I think that's really where I started to read because Harry Potter books especially were worth like 50 million points. So I was like, yes, I need to read those right now. So I read all the Harry Potter books. And then when the movies came out, I was one of those super excited kids, especially since I think I think I was like 11 when the first movie came out. So I was like, oh my god, it's like, it's like me or something. I probably didn't make that face because it wasn't that strange yet. So the movies came out and... Of course, you know, that blonde haired boy stole my heart. Tom Felton, I was his number one fan. Being his number one fan, I definitely went on his like fan website a lot and that's where, you know, girls started to post fanfics and stuff about Harry Potter and I was like, fanfic? What is this? So I started reading them and I was like, I like these because every single girl character always ends up with Draco. Which not to like, it's like how I wish my life actually went, but it doesn't. <sighs> So reading fanfics, and then I started writing fanfics, and I started writing stories, posting them on Quizilla, reading all the Quizilla quizzes. So that's what I did a lot through like, high school, even. So I will admit I was a bit of a closet nerd in high school. I was like, huh? No. I, yes, I like Harry Potter, but it's not, like, weird. So in high school, I tried to hang out with the cool kids, you know. Senior year, I finally figured it out. I was like, this is not working. So I decided to, you know, decided to go join the drama kids. Surprisingly, I would think I was the quietest drama kid. They were always like, Mahala, pop us out, ah, in your face. And I was like, I'm going to go eat my lunch. You guys are weird. So then I went into college, and then I found, this when I found Nerd Fighters, actually. So that was when I began to, like, really embrace this weirdness that I was. And I learned, you know, it's alright to be weird sometimes. Sometimes it's funny. And I luckily made a group of friends and they were also a little bizarre. So they accepted me for who I was and helped me kind of get out of my shell. Now I'm this person that you just can't get to stop talking. Like, I even have to vlog because I just want to talk so much. It's just like... So yeah, that's my nerd history. Um... As most of my other stories, it started with me liking a boy. I just, I feel like that's how I started a lot of things in my life. So I joined band. That's how I decided Blink-182 was my favorite band. Those are both because of the same boy, but... Let's not go into mentioning names. Well, that concludes my video. Um, I hope you guys are having a great summer. If you're not in summer yet, I hope you kick butt on your finals. If you don't take finals because you're from a different country, you know, keep on keeping on. So before I forget, I just want to say congratulations to my friend Anthony. He just got partnered with YouTube. Um, a link to his page will be down in the doobly-doo. So you guys should go check it out. Um, thank you for joining me today. It was nice of you to watch me talk and also hear watching and hearing that's two senses <laughs> so, so, um.